In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called power and quotient rules with positive exponents. And we're asked to simplify this expression and to write our answer with only positive exponents. And I'll start by noticing that both in the top and the bottom, we have exponents on the outside. So for example, in the top, everything inside those parentheses is being raised to the third power. So for example, the two is being raised to the third power which would be two times two times two, or eight, we can simplify two to the third to eight. And then we have a to the fourth raised to the third power. And here we recall that whenever there's a power in the inside and a power on the outside, we would keep the exponent a, and we would multiply those two exponents. Four times three is 12. So a to the 12 in the top, so we've gotten rid of the three on the outside. In the denominator, we have a two exponent outside of the parentheses. So here again, starting with the eight, eight squared is eight times eight or 64. So that would simplify to 64. And then the a three being squared, again, we have a power on the inside and a power on the outside. We would keep the variable a multiply those two powers, a to the sixth in the denominator. And as we continue to simplify here, we notice that we have these number coefficients out in front, this eight and 64, they can simplify just as we would simplify a fraction that was eight over 64. We would look for the greatest common factor. And here eight goes into both of these, eight goes into eight once, eight goes into 64 eight times. So this simplifies to one over eight. And then for the a portions, we have a 12 in the top, a six in the bottom, and we can combine those into a single a in the top by taking the power in the top 12 and subtracting the power of the bottom six. And here we can continue to simplify the a to the power of 12 minus six is just an a6, the one coefficient, there's no need to write. One times a to the sixth, this is just a to the sixth. And we have our eight in the denominator. We were asked to write with only positive exponents. We only have positive exponents. If we did have a negative exponent, we could move that value either up or down in the fraction to change the negative exponent to a positive but since I don't have any negative exponents in this example, I've simplified the expression as much as I can. 